running around on the playground, taking turns gliding through the air, and crawling across the jungle gym. French Creek Community School is a place to play, to learn, and to grow. Children that come to the school have an anchor in their community, and this is what holds them to it. Anne Raffles' family has been anchored to the school for generations. My connection starts out with my father, who was born in Coombs. His family moved here in 1910, and his family all went to this school. Both of Anne's parents, her four daughters and three granddaughters, have attended French Creek Community School. The family hopes that the newest addition to their clan will also be attending once she's old enough. When we went, to, well, I'm going to say when we, because I always think of my friends that came with me here too. Um, it was kind of the same setup because we had little centers, but my favorite part was we had a house and we'd actually always take our little teacher's dogs. I love this school, just why I came back here and moved back here with my kids, and they ended up going to the same class, kindergarten in this room. This room saw its first students in 1912. Since then, hundreds of children have come here to learn. After a Salvation Army colony requested the school be built, French Creek opened its doors as the first government-run school in the district. It survived two world wars, and during the second war, the school was awarded a gold sovereign for their volunteer work. And the Junior Red Cross put it out as a trophy to be won by any school in Canada per capita that did the most for the war effort. Out of all the schools in Canada, French Creek School, this makes me get emotional, this one. French Creek School won the trophy. Scattered across this table rests just some of the school's 100-year-old history. Photos of students that have long passed through its doors, old report cards and letters. French Creek Community School takes pride in preserving and embracing its heritage. It's a bit like walking into an old house that is a home. You can have many houses that are beautiful, perfect, but this one is a home. But it may not be a home any longer for students. The school has already faced two proposed closures in 1997 and 2003 and is now facing a third threat to close its doors. People just look at the school and see an old school. They don't realize that it is the heart of the community. Everybody looks at French Creek, sees an old school, and finds no value in a school that is old. I, I think this is the community that we live in nowadays, that everything needs to be new to be valuable. And unfortunately, the school tends not to show its value to those who are only looking on the surface. But for those who have walked through its halls, played in the schoolyard, and sat on its wooden floors, they see the value in it for the children. I love my purple shoes. They realize that they're part of a community and that they belong somewhere. You're not being bused to a completely different area. You're educated within your own community. We are the only school in this community, and once it's gone, it's gone. French Creek is one of four elementary schools proposed to close come September 2014. The proposal is in response to the school district 69's need to balance the budget. Closing the four schools will trim 1.23 million, but total savings of 3.6 million must be found. Community members are currently looking for public support to help keep French Creek Community School open so that it will be a learning place for future generations to come. In Coombs, I'm Rayanne LaPlante.